The National Palace Museum began a three-month trial today to allow limited photography and recording in exhibition areas at its branches in Taipei and Jiayi. And during the trial period, tourists and visitors can take pictures of some of the museum's most famous pieces. But flash photos as well as tripods and selfie sticks are still banned. Now that photography and filming is allowed at the National Palace Museum, visitors to the museum's strictly secured exhibition spaces can bring their own high-end cameras into the galleries. We came all the way here to see these historical artifacts, and after we saw them, we just wanted to take a picture so we could keep that memory. Now when I go back home and think back on the experience, I can take out my phone and see the pictures I took. These things are really beautiful. Many visitors to the museum today were walking around clutching their phones. But not all exhibits can be photographed. Taking pictures of certain books and paintings hasn't been approved due to their sensitivity to light. And contracts signed for some artworks borrowed from abroad may include clauses against photography. The use of tripods, stands, selfie sticks and flash photography is still prohibited. We're hoping that museum visitors and especially those on group tours will maintain order in our exhibition spaces and we will ask tour guides to pass on these new regulations. When taking pictures, you should take care to respect the rights of other visitors touring the exhibit. And we also specifically ask every visitor to pay special attention to the safety of the artifacts on display. Back in 2006, the National Palace Museum loosened photo regulations during a three-month test period, but rolled back the changes after visitors failed to abide by the rules. Now the museum and its southern branch in Jai are trying it again, hoping it will yield better results this time.